Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Zach Ford. Thanks for the suggestion, Zach. You asked, does gasoline go bad? If you've ever left your car sitting for months or found an old gas can in the garage, you might have wondered, wait, can fuel actually expire? Today, we're firing up the chemistry behind what happens when gasoline gets old, why it loses its spark, how it turns into gunky engine trouble, and what you can do to keep it fresh. So, if you've ever worried about your car turning into a garage decoration, stick around as we break down what really happens when gasoline goes bad, right here on Explaining Everything. Here's the thing. Gasoline isn't some eternal, magical fluid that lasts forever. It's a mix of hydrocarbons, chemicals, and additives that all have one job, to explode nicely inside your engine. The problem is, those ingredients aren't exactly known for aging gracefully. Over time, oxygen, heat, and moisture all start to mess with gasoline's chemistry. Think of it like leaving soda open overnight. It still looks like soda, but the fizz is gone and it tastes like regret. Gasoline, after a few months, loses its spark. Literally, it becomes stale and its ability to ignite properly drops. Most experts say gasoline starts to go bad after about three to six months if it's not stored properly. Premium fuel, by the way, doesn't last longer just because it's fancier. It just goes bad expensively. Imagine you've got a car that's been sitting in the garage for a year. You hop in, turn the key, and nothing. Or worse, it coughs like a grandpa trying to whistle and then dies. Congratulations, your gasoline has aged like old yogurt. When gas goes bad, its volatile compounds, the ones that make it easy to burn, evaporate. What's left behind is a sticky, varnish-like residue that clogs fuel lines, gums up injectors, and makes mechanics rich. Bad gasoline also absorbs moisture from the air. That means water can sneak in, especially in humid places. Water and gasoline do not get along. It's like oil and vinegar, but without the tasty salad. The water sinks to the bottom of your tank, making it even harder for your engine to fire up properly. The result? Rough idling, knocking sounds, stalling, and the distinct feeling that your car is just tired of life. So, what's actually happening inside that gas can over time? In short, oxidation. Oxygen molecules slowly react with the hydrocarbons in gasoline, forming gums and varnishes. These are basically chemical scabs, gross, sticky byproducts that ruin your fuel system. Add a little sunlight, a little temperature change, and boom, your once golden fuel is now more like soup for sad engines. If you've ever opened a gas can that's been sitting around too long, you might notice the smell. Fresh gasoline has that sharp, clean scent that says, I'm dangerous but efficient. Old gas smells sour, almost metallic, like if chemistry class and rust had a baby. Okay, so you found a forgotten jerry can in your shed. It's been there for a year. Can you still use it? Technically, maybe. But should you? Absolutely not unless you enjoy buying new fuel pumps. Old gas can be partially used by mixing it with fresh fuel. But that's like putting a little soda in your flat coke and calling it recarbonated. It might run, 
but it won't run well. If your gasoline is more than a year old, it's better to dispose of it properly. And no, that doesn't mean dump it behind the garage and set it on fire. That's a quick way to meet your local fire department. Most recycling centers or hazardous waste facilities can safely take old fuel off your hands. Luckily, there are ways to keep gasoline from going bad too fast. The easiest trick, use a fuel stabilizer. It's like a preservative for gasoline. Kind of like how pickles last forever in a jar, except you're preserving flammable liquid instead of cucumbers. Just pour it into your tank or gas can, and it'll help prevent oxidation and moisture buildup. With a stabilizer, fuel can stay good for up to two years. You can also store it in an airtight sealed container away from heat and sunlight. Basically, treat it like a vampire. No air, no light, and it'll last longer. Fun fact! Diesel actually lasts longer than gasoline, up to a year or more, because it's less volatile. But even diesel can eventually grow algae and bacteria if moisture gets in. So yes, even diesel can spoil, just in a slimmer way. So if your apocalypse plan involves hoarding barrels of fuel, you might want to rethink that. Your doomsday generator might end up coughing itself to death before the zombies even arrive. So, does gasoline go bad? Oh, absolutely. It just does it quietly, without warning, and in the most inconvenient way possible, usually right before you need to drive somewhere important. But now, you know the science behind it, how to spot it, and how to keep your gas from turning into engine goo. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, or just laughed at your car's potential midlife crisis, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.